What is going on, Movie Meals? Movie Meals, if you didn't know, go look at the announcement video. Start a podcast talking about whatever we want in the world of movies uh, and TV and entertainment and all that. We're just talking. Uh, it's Patreon exclusive, so you need to go to the Patreon, join. It's the $1 tier. It's super cheap, so we'd love for you to join. If you choose not to, some clips will drop the following Monday. They come out on Mondays if you're on Patreon. If not, then... Um, and you'll have to wait a Monday for some clip outs, but please go join that. It's $1, not a lot. Would really help support us. Um, but thank you to those who are patrons, Kimberly Karen and the rest of them. Shout out to them. Go get some Moon Meals merch. I'll link down in the description. We're here to react to Mission Impossible. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, you got any thoughts on Mission Impossible? What's what's this called? The Dead the dead Are Walking or something like that? The, the Dead Reckoning. <laughs> part one, because they can't just make movies by themselves. You've got to have parts. <laughs> uh, you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. These movies are a blast and they get better every time. Uh, in the late career of Tom Cruise, I just love that he's designed to take his stardom and put it to good use and make sure whatever action movies he's in that he is still capable of doing which is amazing because given his age right now but mm -hmm. he just gives it his all and he's dedicated dedicated to the craft and he's dedicated to the movie theater experience and you know he's a weird guy we all know but you can't deny that he he uh cares about this stuff and i really appreciate that about him so whenever care. a new mission impossible movie comes along i'm hyped because i know that he's going to bring his a game and everyone around him will do the same mm -hmm. all right you want to get into this trailer yes please i'm stoked about all right this. a one a two and a three paramount they do good things Oh, that's J.J. Abrams. Oh, is that Your woman days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. This is our chance to control the truth, the concepts of right and wrong for everyone for oh. centuries to come. God, Haley, You're fighting to now. save an ideal that doesn't exist. Never did. We need to pick a side. on a helicopter well kyle what'd you think Man, what do you there think? wasn't a there's not a bad shot in that trailer holy cow like oh, every single moment of that trailer just looked cool it looked awesome man uh i am bummed that i'm reminded that it's coming out next year next summer i really wish it came out this year but they're hard at work making these two movies still so it's not done yet but even still, I don't feel like they're spoiling anything. I think they're just showing, hey, look what we've been making during the pandemic. And it doesn't disappoint. I, like I said, like you can just tell that there's hard work put into these movies. It's showing right now. And I don't mind that it's not telling us what the story is. I have no idea who the new villain is. But I do like seeing characters old and new. And I like seeing all this great action that we're going to experience sadly next year. So you know what? 
at, at least it's something and i'm gonna have to sit on this for a year and it's unfortunate but at least we got this trailer because it's just so much goodness I, I really love that trailer this is far too early for a trailer there's no reason to put the trailer out this early maybe a comic-con we're not at comic-con this is the middle of nothing way too early for a trailer does that mean the trailer's not awesome no the trailer's freaking fantastic but too early it's poor marketing it's it's just it's just bad it's bad by paramount studios for them to release a trailer this advanced and early and something that's just kind of dropping out of nowhere where disney then had announced yesterday that they're going to be dropping a big trailer so I, I i do blame paramount's marketing i think that's a poor poor decision to the trailer great trailer it's awesome i love i mean the, the ladies, I'm ready for the ladies. Get Tom Cruise out of here. Haley Atwell joins the Mission Impossible Universe. Rebecca Ferguson, Vanessa Kirby. This is a dream come true. They are all fantastic. <laughs> I think they're incredible actresses. I, I love what they've done so far in other franchises and their small independent films. So I, I'm here for that. Love see, to see Simon Pegg. I agree. You know, the trailer's good for a first trailer. We're not showing much. We're just showing some of the action shots. Is that the big shot? Is that the big, you know, practical thing Tom Cruise did was him it's jumping off parts. a cliff? It's or two is parts. it more? Oh, but this is part one. You can't. The big shots are coming. But the, part two. But now I'm confused because you might as well. You could say that for any sequel. You could be like, oh, the big shots are coming and. In Deadpool 2, it's that makes no sense. Uh, no, I think that shot looked awesome. Uh, but is that it? Is that the, you know, I, we've been hearing that he's going to do these most insane things ever for this movie. Even, you know, he hung on the on a bag that was on a helicopter. I don't think you get much more insane than that. There, there's, there's, that's nuts. Um, but I it looked all great. Cinematography is great. Who directed this one? Do you know? Yeah, Christopher McQuarrie, like he has for the past few. Okay, Christopher McCory's back. All right, well, guys, what'd you think? Please comment below, let us know. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Please go join the Patreon. Go check out the new podcast. We got stuff on Solo. We, we talk a lot about Star Wars, the, the state of, um, you know, studios, the reactionary, you know, kind of aspect they have, all that kind of stuff. Go get some merch. I'll link down in the description. And as always, thank you for watching, Mom. See you guys.